Ramavani has written, I, I'm five years away from uh, retirement. Please advise me how to invest in the current financial year for my retirement course. Uh, you need, need to really plan about things, yeah, uh, not just for this financial year. Mm -hmm. You need to plan for things. Uh, so do some basic budgeting in terms of mm -hmm. will you be getting a pension? Do you have any other supplementary income? Uh, alternative, for example, if you have a house which is which yeah. is uh, from which you derive a rent or anything, uh, so that's one. Depending on that, so and whatever you have to really look at your lifetime savings that you have accumulated so far, mm -hmm. and the likely income you require to support your living. So uh, regular income from your investment. Do this. Uh, you are, and you should not be taking an annual view that what you should be doing in this financial mm -hmm. year. You need to really look at the asset allocation, think in terms of all the all the accumulation that will happen from your provident fund, from your, uh, you know, if you are actually um, in, in cashing a part of your pensionable um, uh, pension account. So uh, th those things, uh, do this budgeting, see how much corpus you will have, what is the tentative income requirement and next five years, look at what the gap is and how much can you fill and if also consider you know there's a possibility that you may not have any market linked investment mm. uh, it is important to have market linked investment because they are the only hope for retirees to beat inflation mm. uh, but at the same time they are risky and they are more risky for somebody who has never tried those, them you know who has never been used to it so think in a uh, you know access them, invest in them in a more conservative way. Consider, you know, uh, lower allocation funds, for example, the conservative uh, hybrid funds or debt-oriented hybrid funds. Start with them and uh, do it over the next five years. Uh, I think you need a more elaborate planning than just planning for the next financial year. Uh, he, since it's not mentioned whether uh, he is a government uh, yeah, or so, a private, so what we are saying is that sense of urgency should come in because yes. five years actually five years is not a long enough yeah, period yeah. in fact uh, anything less than five years i generally recommend that they don't even consider equity but uh, the good thing is that you know you will have all the accumulation or all the savings that you will do mm. uh, you will retire in five years and after re your retirement you will require a very nominal income uh, f from uh, from the date of retirement uh, so it is that you know your money is still going to be invested for the long period of time right. it is going to be invested for all the period for which you live uh, you know um, uh, and uh, you will require income support so in that sense you are still a long term investor mm. it requires careful planning do some totaling up right. money that you need and money that you have what worries me the friend is that uh, what about the medical expenses I mean, day-to-day -day expenses is fine. Yeah, it requires careful planning careful because you know planning, yeah. because you know it 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 all varies. You know, if you are a state government employee or if you're a state you know central government employee, it, really uh, uh, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of and you know the absence of long-term health care plans in India makes it right. very difficult. Right. Also, I feel that you know the this is one area which has become very tricky, and uh, it is going to be one of the biggest surprise for people retiring.